Hey guys, so I'm up here at the greenhouse. <laughs> Let me just get a little lower. Down here with his minions. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so we're out here at the infamous infamous at the famous greenhouse uh built by jeremiah sowards designed in part by jessica you had some say on this right yeah a little bit he actually did most of it himself he even picked the color the door oh, color. that's right the egg yeah, yeah you sent him the specs i sent him the specs that's right and then he did he pretty decided. good yeah he I did a, he did a great job it's beautiful out here and guys it's so amazing to see like it was supposed to rain like through the whole shindig. Yeah, storm. And it actually did not storm until all of the people had left. Yeah, it was awesome. And again, we've been hoping to get out here in the garden and I'm looking around and I'm just like captivated by how beautiful it's it is perfect today. perfect time. It is so beautiful today to sow some seeds. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do and I'm really excited. It seems like those of us who have visited the farm get to sow like certain things and then we get to watch them grow on YouTube. So yeah. I'm excited to see that. Most excited about Titan sunflowers today, so. Yes. Super pumped on that, and all the zinnia, of course. I do love growing food, but I sure love the pretty things, yeah. too. That's okay, whenever everybody's complimenting throughout the year, I love those zinnias, you can be like, yeah. <laughs> It says plant in rich soil and I straight up just planted in some poop so I'm thinking that's gonna be pretty rich soil it's kind of gross but I am the poop master after all so I guess it's fitting <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I love stamped spoons. There's a couple things that are really striking me while I'm out here today, and I feel called to share the things that strike my heart. I think that's gonna be a lot more of what my channel is about, is sharing what captivates me and inviting other people to be captivated by that as well. And I'm so captivated by how much plants want to grow. I find it funny now when people say, oh, I have a black thumb, or oh, I can't garden, because I used to say those things. And certainly I've had my moments where I can't garden and I've done very poorly with <laughs> stewarding my resources well towards doing a good job of gardening. But just being out here and seeing how willing mint and lemon balm, plants want to grow. They really don't need that much. You put a little effort in in the beginning and preparing the garden and figuring out what they need. And you just kind of maintain it through the warmer months and you can grow things. And this right here is called purple dead nettle and it's got amazing medicinal properties some of which I learned about on so the land I hope to encourage people to learn how to grow things that they love so I find myself very captivated by that today while I'm out here another thing I find myself really captivated by today aside from the fact that I'm walking through these now famous arched trellises is just how much space there is and how different it is to garden in a large garden versus a more small space garden like my garden at home it takes a lot more seeds, and now I understand why Jess has such a huge seed collection. leverage. Mm. Almost done. Nice. 
<laughs> That's pretty good. Thank you. All right, let's get this nailed up. All right. T-post, T-clip. A lot of people don't know is that there's a tool out there called a T-clip bender. I actually make a tool called a T-clip bender. I found a track supply once. So this is how you would start a normal T-clip. Now a lot of people will just twist this and they can twist that with Lyman's pliers, but they have this thing and it's got a pivot on it and this hole. Now get T-clip on. This goes up through the hole like this and then you just pull back and up like that such a simple tool That's that hole simple. goes on the end of this one same motion up and it bends it around and like i practiced with this a lot and i gotten pretty quick at it and i'm a lot faster at this than i was with pliers i think this is like 10 bucks yes yeah, so, uh, okay so you're running into a small problem because it's not fully seating and the reason why is if you look on the other side the teeth from oh. the t-post is holding so mm -hmm. what you'll want to do is grab the hammer and go around and you'll want to just smack that okay. on that side until it seats down all the way. Good. Oh, okay. It bowed down. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, T-clip bender. Start with this one up underneath. Okay, now break the joint this way. Now pull up and back towards you and then push this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I come on this side, put that hole on that and say motion, push this towards me. Like, Seriously? That's, yeah, that's, that's too easy. Yeah, I know. Nice. Most people don't know about that cool thing. T-clip bender. Yeah, it's epic. <laughs> Jedi stuff. <laughs> We're really bad at making a lightsaber <laughs> sounds. We don't get paid the big bucks for that. Are you gonna help me pick some seeds? Oh, please, not please. Some kind of fetch with the tiny ones on your face. Yeah, it's on your face. Mommy's garden beds. Batteries. 